Now for this hexagonal glass thing going on, I'm actually using a node group from one of my products. The procedural patterns product is a collection of node groups which provide patterns to use in the shader editor and a few demonstration materials. The one I'm using here is called hexagon tiles, so naturally it creates a tiling pattern of hexagons. I wonder if I created a principled quickly, plug that into the color. Yeah, it's a bit dark, but you can just about see that. The way I got it to wrap around the object was to do a quick UV map of the object, and I did the cube projection. This hexagon pattern was modified by a gradient, so I did a generated texture coordinate down to a separate XYZ, took the Z value, made a gradient from the color ramp, passed it as a factor, then mixed black, so nothing, with the hexagonal pattern based on the gradient, which is the factor. The multiply is basically the intensity of the roughness, and then that provides the effect. So if I increased the multiplication, you'll see that the roughness also increases. And then I can use like this as the gradient here. I could also do math nodes here to modify the position of the gradient in space, but it's not really required at the moment. So I'm using this old hexagonal tile node, but you could use any noise texture you want. Let me just show you it here in case you want to just see the nodes for that. Again, there's space for improvement. Like here, I could do some modification for the gradient to make it a more appropriate layout. You know, there's there's lots of room for improvement there, but that's how it works. This loose one up here was just because the display case used to just be the glass shader with a bit of roughness before I did the hexagonal patterning. So this is what it used to look like. Nice, clean, plain, nothing wrong with that. But with the hexagonal, we get like a really cool disturbance effect. And you know, you could replace that with textures as well, because like I said, I've got it UV mapped based on a cubic projection. If you had a surface imperfection map, you could do that. 